Hi, welcome to CareStream NDT YouTube video channel. I'm Steve Mango, Technical Manager for CareStream NDT, and today I'm going to show you the basic operation of acquiring and window and leveling an image for best viewing. All right, now I'd like to show you just some very basic image navigation functions that you can use to uh, get around the image. Uh, when you first scan the image, it's going to come up in a very basic view without any uh, you know, special filtering or processing unless you had those chosen as a preset. But in this case, I have a very basic and raw image. Uh, one of the very first things I want to do is maybe press my middle mouse button and zoom in or out and pan to get the image uh, situated on the monitor or the area of interest that I want to look at. The other thing I can do with the image, uh, I'm going to double click to, to reset it. The other thing I'm going to do uh, with the image is I'm going to want to uh, window and level. That is adjusting the, uh, the contrast and the brightness. Uh, if I take this white diamond here and I click on that and drag it left and right, you'll notice that that window, so to speak, is getting narrow or wide. So that's my contrast setting. And if I move it up and down, I'm changing the overall level which is my brightness. So that's real dark, that's real bright. So there's some combination of window and level which is going to make this image look quite nice. The other things I can do to the image is uh, control, shift, left mouse button and rotate it. I can snap it in 90 degree increments by double clicking. Uh, I can zoom on a region, go up here and find my uh, zoom icon which is uh, well, that's a crop. This is, my, this is my zoom on a region. Click that and then click and drag on the image like that and zoom on that region. So now I, I zoomed it way up and I don't really have a good view there so I'm going to come back down. Uh, and then there's other features. There's very basic uh, image navigation features that you're probably quite familiar with. Here's a crop feature. I'm going to get that and just crop out that little uh, mercury switch. Are you sure you want to crop? Yes. And then now I have just that part of the image left. Um, anything I do to the image, by the way, is going to be saved in the next iteration that I save. And it's going to ask me if I wanted to close this image right now, file close, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to save all those changes? Because some of them, like a, a crop, is going to change the image pretty drastically. But other changes, like even the window, level, uh, the degree of magnification, the rotation, all of those settings get saved with the image each time. So it's going to ask me when I close that image or I read another one on top of it, do you want to save all those changes? And if I say yes, the next time that image is opened, that entire display state comes with it. Just as I looked at it last, it'll reappear in that state. So that's basically it for some basic image navigation. Now I'm going to cancel this. Uh, and I'm going to go here up on my uh, toolbar and I'm going to undo that crop image because I just want to give you a small tease of something more that we can do with this image and that is use a display filter which I'll show you in another session that can do some really nice things to your image. 